So guys, it's come to my attention that 65% of you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel that are watching my videos. So if you know if you like like this kind of stuff, I upload it quite regularly. So if you want to subscribe, you can. If not, you can just you know watch, maybe drop a like if you enjoy it. Uh yeah, let's get into the video. Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well go over to Messy Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts. GTA 5 money and rank for PS4, Xbox One and PC. Check their website out in the link below and if you're having doubts just look at all these happy customers. So this video is going to be another one where I talk over, woo, drop a like if you enjoy this or comment down below something and uh, yeah this guy that I joined, I didn't join him on purpose, it's just a random session in case you guys wondered. He's literally the perfect example of a player that's like by nature he's just bad. Like he doesn't have like any actual skill, but he cares about his KD. So he's like, he plays, I know it's weird. He played like super, super passive, super, like plays like a super scared KD warrior, but he's actually bad at the game. Like sometimes KD warriors are like somewhat decent, but this guy was pure garbage, like legit. But this is the guy here. You can see he has a, had a high mental state. That usually means that they go around killing a lot of people. You can't see him on the map straight away, but he's at LSIA, and he's a little red dot. You'll see him in a sec. But yeah, in a second he'll appear on the radar when I get over to him. He's that little red dot at LSIA. So I'm just getting my savage here because you know, it's a pretty good vehicle, it's pretty strong. And in case he gets an oppressor mark too, I can just jump out like, without the first RPG killing me instantly. So. Let's fly over here. This guy in the jet seems to be pretty hostile, so I wanted to take him out first. So he wouldn't be, wouldn't be a nuisance thinking he likes spawn killing me. So that's a pretty easy kill on him. And they get locked on by an oppressor and I'm pretty much screwed, so I just jump out straight away. Land on top of the roof. Actually you almost kill him here. But he flies away. But that's the that's the uni guy that was on about. I don't know why he flew away so far, but you can tell by the start. So even 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 the start of the fight, he's playing quite passive, playing quite scared, if that's what you want to call it. You can see in the mini map, in the top right corner, he gets off his suppressor. He's in like the the jet spawn, where if you call in a, a jet, that's where it will spawn. So um, I'm guessing he's gonna call in a jet of some sort. If you keep paying attention, you'll actually see that he does. Wow. He starts to fly over. I've got BST, so it take, doesn't take long for him to start smoking. My aim is incredibly bad here, so I don't do that much damage. In fact, the other guy in the presser actually takes him out quite easily, so that's quite satisfying to watch. And you can see in the minimap again, the uni guy goes back to get another jet. Once again, I get him smoking pretty quickly. But he flies up too high, so I can't aim high enough to get him. We've seen the mini map, he actually jumps out and he goes all the way over to Los Santos Beach, or Vespucci Beach. So he gets another jet. It's a third jet in like two minutes. And I get smoking again. This time I try and go for a nice RPG. But it may just kill me. You can see I turn on action replay in the kill feed because I wanna wanna get some nice clips or something. But both RPGs that I shoot up they miss. Unfortunately. Seems to really want to kill me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. 
And one of the other guys in the session actually got a jet as well. And he was in passive at the moment, so... Uh, I just wait to shoot him out. Now at this point, I think because I was shooting him so much, his engine died or something. So he crashed into the ground. So the trick you can do is, it, the way you want the buzzard to spawn, you look in the opposite direction. Here it for some reason didn't work and it spawned in front of me. But um, I back out the CO, go back in, and look in the opposite direction where I want it to spawn. And it spawns behind me. So I've got a buzzard that's kind of covered. Now here I'll wait. Because there's a guy in the oppressor. I don't want him to get an easy kill on me. I'm ruining my plan. And then I have to wait like another two minutes for me to call in the buzzard. So I just go ghost. So hopefully he doesn't notice me. So I managed to get out. Get out of that situation pretty quickly. And I fly over. Now at this point I actually for forget that I'm in ghost organisation. Because I, I just use ghost to... um to get out of that situation. So I'm just flying over. If you pay attention on the minimap, you can see it disappears. I'm thinking, oh maybe he went maybe he went off radar or got into a got into an RC car or tank or whatever. So I'm just using my homing missiles to try and lock on something. So I check the map. I see that he's teleported to the facility. So here I just decided to call in a jet and then I waited in underground, not underground, like an inside spot where I can't get cannoned. So here's been about five minutes since he first went, went into his facility, but eventually he leaves it. And I've put a bounty on him earlier, so I can, one, see who he is on the map. Because I just have to look for the bounty. And also, so he can't get into passive. But, um, his blip disappears. So he actually goes Ghost Org, like I did earlier. So I'm thinking, maybe I should go off radar, try and fly over to him, see what I was about to do. I've already got one minute, and he's got three minutes. And I just presume that he's just going to wait in his facility and cannon me. So I fly around and I realise it's best for me to just stay where I was, just wait for him. So I actually hear a jet flying around me, so I'm trying to see where he is. I can't actually shoot from this side, but you can actually hear him crash, so he doesn't seem to be very good in a jet. <laughs> but um, he's still afraid at this point, so I try and, try and see him. I see a little orange square, I think that might be him. But um... You can see it's a different guy. I just accidentally killed a random guy. But um, I'm just looking around here. And an RPG actually gets shot up to me. So I'm thinking maybe it's like he's on ground firing home rockets up at me. Then all of a sudden I die. I didn't even know where he was so that was quite interesting. Now if you pay attention to the minimap you can see he appears on radar for a second and then goes back off radar. So I already know what he's doing. I know he's in on a press because there's no way that he could fly around right now. You can actually kind of see his little like orange jet from the oppressor through the buildings. And I see that lands on this rooftop. Okay, I'm gonna warn you here. You're gonna see some of the worst sniping I've ever done. But I, he's standing still and I'm missing him. Like I don't even know myself. But for some reason I find those strays super hard to hit. But I, I just one shot him because I've got... I seem to have some sort of lag with him. But for some reason, as soon as he spawns in, I can check on the kill feed on the left. But he dies straight away. I'm guessing he's suicided. For some reason. So, it's weird. He can't strafe while sniping. But he suicides. But he spawns right in front of me. I snipe him straight away because my aim's not bad this time. As you can see, in a second... He actually goes into an RC tank. So he really knows this crap at sniping like I was earlier. So he doesn't want to fight on ground. So I'm just waiting on a rooftop for him because he seems to be pretty stupid. And also I've got a hand advantage. So here I see him. And I can just spam RPGs down on him. 
He found it super hard to hit me. But that was a pretty easy kill on him. Now again, he flies a bit too close and I managed to auto aim him off as a presser. Now again, my sniping is pretty bad. I don't know why, I just find it super hard to hit people that aren't strafing like a normal person. So it takes me three shots to hit someone that's moving that slow. Now if you look at the minimap, he disappears again because this guy is just too good at the game and somehow I trip over the edge of the helicopter. I didn't even know that was possible. But um, I just get to my helicopter. So I presume he's gone into a nasty tank again. But if you check the minimap, he actually goes to his um his facility. So that's great. So I'm just hiding in my spot here because I don't want to get old kind. And uh, I send him a little message. I see that his, on his profile it says that he's French. So say c'est facile, which means you are easy in French. So I'm checking the map and he's in the military base. So he's actually left his facility for once. And I'm guessing he's gone to get a jet of some sort. So I'm just I'm just gonna go to my jet and fly over and try and kill him. So even though I suck at flying, he still couldn't manage to kill me, so this just shows how bad he is. Anyway, try and kill him on ground. And he tries to suicide RPG me. Like people used to do in like 2015. So he was playing like he I don't know, it's weird. He's playing like a tryhard that knows what he's doing, but he's crap and doesn't know what he's doing. So it's a it's a really weird situation. So after I've killed him a few times and watched him kill himself a lot, he uh, eventually disappears on the minimap and he teleports to his facility again. So that's just great. So here I'm just going to try and fly over to a bridge because I think he might be trying to kill me. But um, check the minimap, he actually leaves his facility. If, I, if you wanted to know, that was the bridge that was the, the bridge that just passed, that's the one that's trying to get under because he can't kill me from there. But I go check the map and I'm guessing he's going to go for another jet again, so I start to fly over. And unfortunately, he manages to kill me, because I suck at flying. So I actually hit him with that homing rocket, which means he flies back into the military base to try and get into the jet. So I just grab an oppressor and try and fly over and get some ground kills on him. There you have it. He goes into passive. What a great player. I mean, I don't really blame him. He kind of sucks on ground, but would have expected maybe put up a little bit of a fight. So he goes into his hangar, gets him to get a jet. So I decide to get a jet as well. See in a second, he leaves his hangar.
So we get into a little bit of a dogfight. Because it takes him 30 seconds to leave passive. I managed to get some few hits off on this jet. But he jumps out straight away, so someone's a bit of a noob. I decided to crash my jet though into the ground because I just know it's going to suicide loop. I'm probably going to get more kills if I play on ground. Now, as soon as he spawns on ground though, you see he disappears straight away. So that was a that was a bit of a waste of uh, a jet that I had. But anyway, I'll go get another jet because why not? And he leaves the session, so that's what happens when you suck at GTA, but you're a trash KD warrior like he was. In fact, I actually checked his crew, and he, he fully went offline to so turn his PlayStation off. That's how mad he was. But yeah, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below any feedback if you found the video interesting, or you didn't find it interesting. Just let me know what I could do to improve, and yeah.